What's going on everyone? Joshua for the Love of Games. In my last video, we talked about virtual desktop and we talked about how to set it up and what to expect when starting to stream from your PC to your Oculus Quest headset. And that got me thinking, can we actually stream non-VR games to the Oculus Quest 2 using Vorpex and virtual desktop in conjunction with each other? Does it actually work? Well, I have no idea and I want to find out. So without further ado, let's pull up a chair, sit back and relax, and let's find out if we can stream non-VR games to the Oculus Quest 2. Let's go. Let's find out if this is actually going to work. I'm really curious to see if it does, and I'm hoping that it does, only because that would be really cool to stream non-VR games to the Oculus Quest using Vorpex and Virtual Desktop. As you can see, I have Steam opened up, I have the Virtual Desktop streaming app opened up, and I have the Vorpex configuration file opened up. And I also have my Oculus Quest locked, loaded, and ready to go. In case you guys haven't noticed, we are going to attempt to run Cyberpunk 2077 in VR using Vorpex. And I'm also going to be using the streaming app to try to stream it to the Oculus Quest 2. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to go see if we find a cloud profile for Cyberpunk 2077. So there it is. There actually is an official Vorpex driver for, from Vorpex themselves for Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to go ahead and import that profile. Once it does that, I'm going to hit apply and close. And then I'm going to go and load up Cyberpunk 2077 and get everything recording and everything else. So bear with me one moment, please. Holy crap, it actually worked. We are loaded into Cyberpunk 2077 and streaming it from my PC to the Oculus Quest using virtual desktop and Vorpex. Nothing else. There's no cables attached at all. Now, I got to say the overall gameplay portion of it or the visual fidelity of it is not the best. Now, I don't know if it's the game optimization with Vorpex and everything else or if it's just because I'm streaming it from my desktop and trying to run it at a smooth 90 frames per second, but that has definitely not happened. But I can walk around. I can move. I can turn. I can do everything. This is actually pretty cool. This is, again, complete wireless freedom. This game is not meant to be played in VR at all, but here I am playing it in VR. This is the power of Vorpex, but more importantly, this is the power of virtual desktop. So yeah, Cyberpunk 2077, it works. It plays. You can actually play through it if you like to like this. I don't recommend it unless you wanted to sit there and tweak Vorpex a little bit, but let's see if we can do another game. Let's find out. Let's try Resident Evil 7. Now, Resident Evil 7 did not have a VR port on PC. It only had it on the PS4. So I want to see how it's going to work with Vorpex and how it's actually going to play in the headset. Yes, it is wireless, so it might give me some lag and some distortion, but I want to see if it's just possible. So let's pop it in. I have my profile here. I'm going to load the game up. Let's do this. And here we are inside of Resident Evil 7 using Vorpex and virtual desktop to stream it wirelessly to the Oculus Quest 2. And honestly, the image quality inside the headset, even though it's not a native VR title, is really good. It looks and feels pretty great, honestly. You have full keyboard and mouse support. I have full free look support with my head, so I can use my head as a mouse input, which is good for aiming when you uh, start taking down enemies and stuff like that. So... This is actually very well done. So I've been playing this for about a minute now, just doing the little beginning part, following the path up to the house, and I have to say the performance is actually rock solid. Vorpex does this game a lot of justice, and it looks and plays really good. I haven't noticed any sort of lag, stuttering, latency, nothing with my inputs or even my head movements or head tracking movements whatsoever. This plays really, really well for a game that is not meant to be played in VR on PC. I highly recommend playing Resident Evil 7 in VR on PC using Vorpex. This plays and feels really good. It looks better than the PSVR version as well. It could use a little bit more tweaking in the detail department and the sharp, uh, image sharpness, but overall, out of the box, it plays and feels great. So this gets a definite playable pass, and you could really just... Play through the entire game in VR on PC. This looks absolutely amazing. Well, there you go, guys. Apparently, you can stream non-VR games to the Oculus Quest using virtual desktop and Vorpex. I had no idea if this was going to work. It was a shot in the dark, and I just wanted to see if it was going to work and record myself doing it. And honestly, I am so glad that it worked. This opens up the Quest 2 for so many more possibilities, and I'm probably going to be using my Quest 2 just a little bit more now. 
just a little bit though. Playing Cyberpunk in VR wasn't really the greatest experience. The game was a giant stuttery mess, but I do think with some optimization of Vorpex, you could get it to a playable frame rate and possibly even play the game completely through in VR. Resident Evil 7, on the other hand, played extremely well. The game was buttery smooth with zero input lag and I just want to go back and play that game completely in VR. That game is just amazing and I highly recommend playing that game in VR if you ever get the chance to. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button because it really helps out the channel. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that way you don't miss any time I upload a new video. If you want to see even more content for For the Love of Games, be sure to check out one of the videos on the screen right now. But until next time, guys, I'm Josh with For the Love of Games, signing out. Have a great day.